Sawa di ka. I am back from Bangkok. Bangkok weather super hot lah, but it's a very nice place to chill. So if you are planning to go overseas, go Bangkok. Just to let you know that there are many shops that are still not open, and I guess some of them has already closed down. There are some places that are still very happening, like Platinum Mall. If you want to have a very good shopping for the ladies and for the guys, remember to go and massage. It's so cheap and good. So if you have time, just chill out. You can spend time with your family and. Kids in Bangkok. Today I'll be sharing with you the two plots of land, which is just so, which is the Daman and the Pine Grove side. If you like this video, remember to click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and be a giant Hua Kui. During my shopping with my wife in Bangkok, this news came out, which is the sale of Daman and Pine Grove GLS. Before I go into the article, I was hoping. That these two plots of land, if they sell low, it give a lot of buyers hope for next year to buy at a good price, so that they all can be a giant Hua Kui one. So let's talk about Pine Grove first. So Pine Grove, there are five bids, which is quite healthy. The highest bidder goes to UOL and Singapore Land. They are so lucky, I tell you. They got the land eight hundred dollars higher than the second bidder. And the person who decided to bid at six hundred over million, let's add a eight hundred dollars at the back, should give this person a raise. Whereas the second top bidder goes to All Green, so the person who decided to not add the eight hundred dollars or add another eight 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 at the back ah should be sick lor. Overall, it works out to be one thousand three hundred eighteen dollars per square feet, which it will roughly be about two thousand two to two thousand three per square feet, which will be launched next year. And I heard that there will be a possibility of a upcoming cross island line station at the Sunset Way. The location of the MRT is not out yet. If you want to know more, stay tuned to my upcoming videos. Next, let's go into Durban Road GLS. This is the most favorite piece of land that I like because it is city fringe and there's MRT station and there's old airport road food center and there's good school like Chongqing Main and a good primary school there will be Guanghua Primary. In the previous video, I am hoping for this land to be sold at a good price because this will give buyers chance to enter at a good price so that buyers will be a giant Hua Kui. The latest GLS sold in the area is Jalan Tembusu, which will be launched this year. The land plot is about one thousand three hundred and two per square feet. Taking that land price increase every year, this land. Should be about one three five zero per square feet, but again, I am hoping the price is low, maybe about thousand two or one two five zero per square feet. But how we know this hope is gone? I am quite sad because there's only two bidders, and the second bidder goes to Cedia and Hong Leong. They bid up only one thousand one hundred and twenty two per square feet. Which means that if they got this land, the launch price next year could be below two thousand, which is very rare. Because if you have seen all the new launches right now for City Fringe, they are all going at two thousand per square feet. So if you tell your friends, oh, how much you buy ah? Oh, I buy one thousand nine hundred. Wow, anything with a one in front is like wow, amazing. But sadly, the hope is gone. So when I saw this in Bangkok, I was quite sad. But never mind. So although Sing Ai Yi bought the land at one thousand three hundred and fifty per square feet, he still got one more hope to go. Is to hoping that the developer give us chance by selling at a decent price next year, so that buyers will make their pot of gold. And people ask me, Eria, why there are only two bidders? Ah, since this is such a popular site, this is a big plot of land, and it. Can build about one thousand over units, so it's a big risk for developer because any developers who buy this land and couldn't sell all the units within five years, they will get another thirty-five percent ABSD, which is quah quah quah. 
And that's the reason not a lot of developers want to take such a big risk in today's market. If I can remember developers like Fraser, okay, Fraser, they still have Riviere, which is not fully sold out. And we talk about Far East. Far East, they have one Holland V, which I don't think is fully sold. And they have upcoming Jalan Ana Bukit, which is going to launch this year. And we talk about Simlia. And Simlia has sold the biggest project in Singapore, which is Treasures at Tampines. They have fully sold 2,200 units. And I thought that they will be, but not to forget, they also have have upcoming new launch at Dairy Farm. And since IE bought this land is because Park Hamptons, I guess, is almost fully sold and they need to launch the next place. We didn't know that they were just whack at 1,350 per square feet. La. They may also thought that there will be a lot of bidders at 1,003 plus per square feet. But anyway, side story. La. We went to eat J5. can try their crab omelette. We waited for our food to arrive one hour after we order. Guys, you already know that the price for new launch, especially these two plots of land, will decide where the market will go from now to next year. The developer has already committed 1,003 plus per square feet, which next year will be 2,002, 2,003 per square feet. So you know that the direction is going upwards. If you do something wise today by taking action to buy a good property, you will make very good money from now to next year. If you do not know how to do it, remember to check out my webinar, which I will conduct every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 o'clock. I have put the link in the comment section below. So if you want, you can register and watch so you can start planning what you can do for this year. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you have learned something. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will learn how to make money and be a giant Huawei.